What's up gamers? It's your boy Weedy S Rebel here. We're gonna be playing some old school RuneScape and talking about pet hunting. Yeah, you may know me as Omega Zero, the World 330 host, but today I'm playing on my main account, Takiru. I've been lucky enough to collect 10 butt sniffers so far on this account. That's what I call them because they're purely cosmetic. The pets, all they do is follow behind you and sniff your butt all day. Even the beaver over here, this one sniffs his own butt and yours. But anyway, uh, a lot of people ask me what kill count did you get that pet or how or where did you get it. And I'm just going to share my insights from personal experience and maybe help, help motivate you guys on your grinds to try and get them as well. Alright, I'm going to start from the first pet I got to the last pet. Makes the most sense. Kind of shows the progression of my account. Here we go. What was I thinking? I was thinking as a brand new member, what should I do first? Agility. So I go down to Draenor, start doing some laps on the rooftop, get some marks of grace couple levels once I get to 20 or whatever I go to Verrock I keep doing some laps over there get some marks of grace and then boom I get a squirrel behind me and a message in the chat box saying you have a funny feeling like you're being followed for the first time ever I was like what the hell I literally had never seen a skill or a boss pet up to this point this is like the first maybe second day that I, I was playing in members and, I mean, if I had seen some of the GE, I sure didn't notice them. You know, I, I'm like, that ain't it. that ain't Gertrude's cat. What's that? Level 32, Verog Rooftop. It's, not, it's a blue moon. You know, this isn't going to happen to the average bear. So I wouldn't suggest going there to try and get this pet. Uh, many people would suggest the wilderness course. Don't go there. If you just happen to get the pet and then just happen to get PK'd before you get safe, you're going to hate yourself you're gonna to want to kill yourself um, and the penguin course used to be a suggestion but it's kind of lame now um, especially with new updates and it's so niche nobody does that shit come on where I suggest from my experience is going to the sepulcher because I not only got one but two spare squirrels there meaning I have three now uh, super lucky but the sepulcher is way more generous with its pet drop chances so if you don't have the pet by that time that you can go there try and try and get it from the sepulcher I, I guarantee you'll probably get one if you train to 99 there next the uh, king black dragon was the second pet I got not a whole lot to say about this one I got pretty lucky um, at kill count 418. By the way, if anybody says the word spooned referring to getting lucky with a drop, I will revoke your nerd card. Full stop. And I was with a group of friends, so I was lucky to get the kill, but I had taken a lance out there. Back when the lance was like 118 mil, it was my entire bank, I remember. And I just, I just had the hair up my butt to try and risk, risk it for the biscuit, man. And I took the lance out there, and I don't regret it, because I got the pet. So what you do here is you stand right up against KBD and pray melee defense. This negates like uh, between half, you know, about a quarter and half of the attacks that it deals to you. And then just use anti-fire and anti-poison or whatever for the rest of the damage. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, if you see somebody down there um, using Protect from Mage, roast the shit out of them. Because they're a fucking idiot. Alright, next up, this is the pet I probably have the most to say about. But I'll save the in-depth you know, talk about it for when I... Um, I'm going to be making a, a master farmer, like a 1 to 99 for money guide for farming. Uh, but anyway, the third pet I got was the Tangle Root. And uh, there's been a rumor going around for years that the only way that you can get the Tangle Root is by trees. Uh, I don't know if this is something you've heard, but it's not true. 
He, yeah, it looks like a tree pet, but it doesn't only come from trees. Um, a lot of people still do trees because it's the lowest numerical value for the drop rate, meaning the highest chance in numerical terms. But you can only do, say, 5 to 10 to 20 if you add in fruit trees. Tree harvest a day. And it only has one chance per tree on the clear tick. Now, I got my tangle root halfway through a watermelon harvest on the Falador patch. This sounds crazy, but it's true. This means you can get the tangle root pet from any yield of a fruit or a, you know like snake grass or whatever allotment that you have planted that you're harvesting not just on the clear tick this means you can have hundreds of drop chances for the pet an hour thousands of drop chances for the pet a day even though like on the watermelons you know it's like one in hundreds of thousands or something you can have thousands of rolls a day on the pet here if you diversify to allotments you can also do it on hops like in nillian hops you can uh, sell for a thousand each and you can get like a hundred per hour i mean this is like a bond in a you know passively you know in no time if you want to do that and every single yield tick not just the clear tick you get a chance so boom diversified do your allotments y'all i used to make ultra compost out of watermelons and add the volcanic ash to the compost bin to get ultra compost i made so much money and made so many watermelons that i got the pet from there next the rock golem is uh don't got a lot to say about this one either i got lucky getting it um underneath the uh it was the bottom section of the mother lobe mine not the top section. I got it on level 74, if I remember right. Uh, not too special. Nothing to say, really. I don't know any other drop rate chances. I don't know how rare that is. That's where I got mine. Next, the Chompy Pet. The Chicky Chen Chompa, whatever. You um, have a static, or a really low chance, a really easy chance to get it once you have the requirements, but the requirements are very high. You have to have 93 Slayer to be able to kill a thermonuclear smoke devil for the uh, diary, the um, western diary, and I think you have to have a thousand chompy kills um, registered with rants to have the diary done as well as a bunch of other crap. Um, I remember specifically this, this uh, taking like a couple of months to get some of these requirements but once you have them all you got to do is it's a one in 300 drop chance once you finally have done all those so i mean it takes forever to get to it but once you have that i mean it's simple drops in your lap next is something kind of special um i have a beaver on both of my accounts omega zero and talk hero i got omega zero a long time ago chopping magics in the guild I got um, the one on Takiru chopping redwoods at the guild with an infernal axe, which burns, you know, like one in three logs or whatever like that. And that way you can uh, keep chopping and, and not have to dump your inventory as often. Yeah, I was just burning and then, you know, uh, I would dump whatever else that once I've got a full inventory. And I think that helped uh, roll over the chances a little bit more and got me the pet quicker now what's extra special is not that i only do i have one on each count of the beaver uh when i the day that i got the beaver pet on takiru i also got the skatizo pet um i was actually consciously thinking like hmm, oh wow i just got this pet what could i do to maybe get two pets today and i had a couple of dark totems sitting in my bank that i've been saving from slayer I actually failed the first kill. Um, just I didn't have. I don't think I had the arc light, or maybe it wasn't charged, or something like that. And I didn't get the kill. I tellied out, and then I had like two or three other dark totems, and I think it was the third dark totem. Just the pet just showed up, man. I mean, this was the best day of RuneScape that I ever like I can ever remember. Two pets in one day. 
the beaver, and then the scotizo. It was amazing. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot to say about them, but you know, just just keep trying. The scotizo pet's actually a very very low drop rate. Like um, I mean, very numerically low. It's like one in sixty-five, I think. So good luck. Um, it just takes a while to get the totem, you know, collection going. Next, I got the Alchemical Hydra twice. Really lucky with this one, even before I got any good drops. Uh, once at uh, 282, and the second one was 313. I remember they're both kind of nice palindrome numbers. Um, practically back to back trips, I think, you know, I mean, I, I immediately tellied after the first pet got dropped. And then I think there was maybe one trip in between, but then the following trip, uh, I got another another pet roll, and it's, uh, I mean that that's awesome. It's so I mean it's kind of worthless, but it's it's a cool brag to like say oh, yeah I've got three squirrels, I've got a beaver on both account, and I have two alchemical hydras. Like I mean that's cool. Next, the uh, yeah there's not there's not really anything to say specific about getting hydra though. So next, uh, thermonuclear smoke devil do have some suggestions for this. Many people will go. Um, back to their house and redo every single kill or whenever um, they you know their health runs low no don't do that what I suggest is taking like a full inventory of prayer pots aside from you know your telly out and maybe maybe elk runes and one super combat potion and doing the redemption pop method um, like as soon as as soon as your redemption pops wait for the prayer you know the quick prayer to go off sip a prayer potion and then pop the turn, turn the redemption back on and then you know so so it sounds weird but it, it works really really well down there I mean therm thermia hits just like it's like every fucking tick it hits it hits it hits it hit it like never misses either and so, um, th this just works out. It's a weird method, but the redemption pop method is the best way to kill thermonuclear smoke devil, in my opinion. Um, and you can get like, yeah, 30, 40 kills. It actually has pretty good consistent drops. You know, the, the smoke battle staff or whatever, the occult necklace, and of course the pet. And you can get like ancient staffs there too, but they're not worth shit. Um, so yeah, redemption pop. Then, uh, the last but not least pet on this account, or butt sniffer if you will, is Smolcano. Yeah, I've been hunting this one for a while, um, like what, 1400 dry for both the seed and the pet, and then suddenly, eh, like, uh, one, uh, one day I get the seed, and then the next day I get the pet. Um, you should be able to... If you wear like you know you know crystal pickaxe and you wear the Varrock four chest body and then the rest graceful, you won't need a whole lot of stamina pots. I, I suggest taking one if you're good at this boss. Take one stamina pot and then like eight brews or something like that. If you're good, you should be able to last like an hour down there, like 20, 30, maybe more kills. Um, I'm usually the last person to leave the group to bank. Um, also, if you want to join a group easily, use the Zolcano Host CC. It's all one word. Just join them, and they're always looking for players in worlds. It's so easy. They, they all they say is world, you know, X Y Z, you know, 420 plus three or plus one or plus two, however many they're asking for. You could also say W question mark which means world like is there an open world or something um, you could or you could find your own empty world and say you know world 420 plus however many you need the meta is to have a four man group but I'm not a meta slave and I highly suggest doing a five man group if it's agreeable because with a five-man group, they everybody thinks, oh, you get less drops, oh, you get less chance at the pet. <laughs> That's stupid. Like, don't be a meta slave. The reason I suggest five instead of four, which is the usual requirement, is because 
with five people if somebody needs to take a shit or they need to bank or they just fucking plank all of a sudden and die okay you still have four people left over if two people need to take shit or bank or die you still have three which is still a decent number of players and and then probably somebody will come back in time and keep and bring it right back up to four you usually you have like an average of four players if you have a five-man team you know it's kind of like someone's on the bench but you know it's, you know it, it works out it really makes a lot of sense if you try it I highly 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 suggest a five-man over a four-man it really doesn't change the amount of loot that you get it actually makes kills quicker so you get more kills an hour meaning more loot per hour meaning more chances at the pet per hour and multiple people on a single kill can theoretically get the pet or a high tier drop in a single kill so do it five man is all Kano. that's my other suggestion um, and my last suggestion um, for the pet hunting or butt sniffer guide uh, and uh, yeah basically that's it I will be making a 99 farming for profit guide and I'll talk a lot more about the tangle root there but you pretty much got the gist here today and I'm also man I have been hunting the Phoenix to no avail for 83 million fire making experience I have done so many rounds of winter Todd including like hundreds of max solo runs and like I I'm a fucking winter Todd master but I can't openly claim that really until I have the pet and I want to make a guide to show you guys how to maximize your efficiency per hour you could even I can I'm gonna even show you guys how you can get a free level 83 construction and free furnishings for your house doing winter Todd if you're patient enough and if you do the right things it's actually it's actually fairly quick and pretty manageable but I digress thank you guys so much for watching this a uh, little bit lengthy pet hunting guide it's just uh, I wanted to get out as much information about each pet and my suggestions on how and where and when to hunt them all right y'all Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Keep it real. I'm the weedy-ass rebel, and I rebel by smoking weed. I kick some ass and play video games on AFK TV. You know what to do if you like my YouTube. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subs. I'll see you all so soon. Okay, okay.